Our guinea pig's the right pet for me. Hi everyone, it's Pets Palace TV here. So today I'm going to be basically starting off a new set of videos. So this is going to be a beginner's guide to guinea pig care. I thought it was really important to make this set of videos because people who are new to guinea pigs have like no experience with them and I thought this would be a really helpful guide if you're just new to looking after them. And I thought it would also be beneficial to people who are thinking about getting guinea pigs but they're not too sure yet so I thought that would help them so they could sort of learn about the responsibility of owning guinea pigs um, before taking them on as pets. So this particular video today is going to be focusing on is a guinea pig the right pet for you? Um, I thought this was like a good video to do because it's something that would be really helpful to watch before you go and get your guinea pigs or if you're a bit unsure whether you want them or not this should hopefully help you and it will make you think a bit more about what you need to do for them. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is responsibility. Now responsibility plays a big part in looking after guinea pigs because they require a lot of work so you'll need to be giving them food daily and this consists of hay, pellets and their fresh food. Um, you need to give them fresh food daily because it's important to their diet and they cannot produce their own vitamin C so they need veggies that have lots of vitamin C in it and they can have fruit every now and again but they shouldn't be fed that every day because it's very high in sugar so it's not too good for them. So yeah they need that like everyday veggies. Um, then you want to be giving them hay 24 7 so make sure they're not going to run out of it. If you're going out somewhere make sure they have plenty of hay and biscuits make up about 20% of their diet I think. So they need to have their biscuits there as well available for them but they're not as important as the hay. So yeah, once you've um, got the food sorted they need um, their accommodation cleaning every day. So this just means removing any soil bedding. You don't have to take all of the bedding out and chuck it away. What you want to do is just remove the soil bits daily and then you can keep on top of cleaning them a lot easier. Um, they need their bottles changing daily because would you like to have dirty water and be drinking that? Um, you will need to be clipping their nails every now and again. This is something that's really good to be consistent with because if you leave it for a long time like I used to then they'll grow quite long and they'll be much more difficult to cut. So if you just trim them like say once every month or once every few months and this will be much more um, better for the guinea pig and it will make it a lot easier when you come to clipping them. Um, <clears throat> you also want to be um, letting them out on the grass because they need that in their diet. Um, it's not like it's important as hay but it's something that they should do because that's what they'd be doing in the wild like grazing on the grass so it's important that you have that available for them and just basically make sure that you'll be able to keep up on top like on top of this so if you don't think you'll be able to um, clean them every day and provide them with veggies every day if you don't think you'll be able to do this or you think you'll get bored of it then they're not really the pet for you. So the next thing that I want to talk about is time. So you obviously need the time to look after them. So on a day it doesn't really take me that long to look after them um, depending on what I'm doing with them really. So when I'm cleaning them this can take like 15 minutes to half an hour usually but if I'm doing more like trying to change their accommodation make it a bit more interesting for them this could take up to an hour as I just spend ages changing all the toys around and stuff and making it interesting for them so it does take quite a long time to clean them but to be fair I do have eight guinea pigs so if you just had like two guinea pigs then 
this would only take you like 10 minutes to do so it's not much time but you need to um, have that spare daily and if you're a very busy person then it's going to be hard to make time for your guinea pigs and if you're like the sort of person that loses interest in things very easily then it might not be the right pet for you because it, I must admit it does get a bit boring cleaning them every day I love guinea pigs and I love spending time with them and watching them but something I don't enjoy is cleaning them so you need to make sure that um, you're going to be committed to this and you're not just going to clean them when you feel like it or leave it to someone else for someone else to do um, you want to make sure that you're responsible yourself um, to be cleaning them daily and giving them everything that they need. So the third thing I want to talk about is money. You don't have to be like super rich to afford guinea pigs, you just need enough money to keep providing them with all the essential items. So you'll need to buy them an enclosure. So you can buy these CNC cages, they're great, they're adjustable in size and you can make them as big um, as you want, you can make them into different shapes, you can do so many things with them. You can build your own if you're like a crafty person or like a DIY person. You also need to afford all their other supplies, things like water bottles and food bowls don't cost very much, you can get them for very affordable prices. You'll need to buy them houses because guinea pigs naturally like to hide and it helps them feel secure and safe in where they live. So I love the um, wooden houses. The guinea pigs can gnaw their teeth down on them and keep them nice and trim. You'll also need to afford bedding. This is something that you'll have to um, constantly buy. It's not something you can just buy once and then you have to buy it again. Unless of course you use fleece which I don't really think is very natural for guinea pigs but some people like to use it so it's up to you and what you want your guinea pigs to live on it's totally your choice but um, personally I like to use bedding and you need good quality hay so they do need a lot of that in their diet so it's important that you're getting good stuff so it should be nice and sweet smelling and um, it shouldn't be like a brownie colour of course you'll need to keep buying the hay again and again and again so there's a lot of things to think about and if you're quite young and like your parents aren't going to pay for it or like you don't have a job or anything then it's probably not the most affordable thing to have it's fine buying all the supplies once like the enclosure, the guinea pig, um, the water bottle, the food bowl, but the ongoing things like hay, um, wood shavings, stuff like that that you have to keep buying and buying and buying, those sort of things make them quite expensive pets, so you might want to consider that as well. You will also need to have some money set aside for any unexpected vet trips. Guinea pigs can just suddenly get ill and if you don't think you'll be able to have money aside then it's not really a good idea to get them. You do need this because you'll need to obviously pay to have um, the vet trip and you'll need to pay for any medicines. I also wanted to mention that guinea pigs are not kids pets. Younger kids aren't really as responsible and I think it's better if you're like a teenager or like an adult to own guinea pigs. If you're an adult and you're willing to um, be responsible for the guinea pig then that's totally fine and you can let your kids like hold them and stuff like that but you'll also want to um, make sure you're giving them supervision because little kids may find it hard to hold the guinea pigs so you'll need to show them how to do that especially as they've got quite small hands so it might be more difficult for them to hold them and guinea pigs are very sensitive to noise so if your kids make loads of noise and what well, little kids do um, they're very sensitive to this and they will run away and get scared easily so it's probably better for people who can keep them in a quiet environment 
Guinea pigs need handling on a regular basis, otherwise they won't become tame. If you're not getting them out and cuddling them lots, then they're going to make boring pets because you, they're just going to hide away forever. They're not going to get used to you. Guinea pigs like a herd around them. So my two males, I made a video on this, why we separated them and the circumstances. So if you're wanting to watch that, I will link that down below. They are herd animals and my two boys, they were fighting 24-7. They love the security and they like to feel safe in where they live. But if you just have a guinea pig on its own in a cage, like with no other guinea pigs surrounding it, they're going to be scared and confused. But I have all mine next to each other, so in this room there's lots of guinea pig smells. They can see the other guinea pigs, they can hear the other guinea pigs. So they know there's more guinea pigs around them. They might not necessarily live together, but if they know that, if they've got the security of other guinea pigs around them, that's great. Females tend to get along much easier, but this doesn't mean that males can't get along because I have a pair of males and they get along so well. They will sit next to each other and they do have the odd occasional rumble at each other, but this is just them. Um, getting to grips with who's the more dominant guinea pig it's nothing to like nothing really aggressive or serious it's just basically them sorting who's the most dominant guinea pig out if you make sure that you really do want them as pets and you can give them a good home then i'd say they are the perfect pet for you thanks for watching guys i will speak to you all soon bye